everyone, this is Stevio here, back on the tournament, where I'm competing against multiple big time farming YouTubers. So today, we gotta clear off all the first crops, and we got to get ready to start planting the next crop. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I would like to thank my partner Wooly that put in multiple hours last night catching us back up to where we need to be. He is a true farmer. And also we have a few hired hounds help us out like Gus, a few others that spent their time, valuable time, helping us make this farm grow and catching us back up to where we need to be. I just love making the first pass through the field, especially harvesting sunflowers. It's always just so beautiful. Just love the textures on this map. Really makes it more in depth play. I got an early morning start. The only problem is it decided to have an early morning rain too. We had to do get some plowing done. We did a little mud in, but we got her done. Rain didn't get the ground wet enough so we could still push through. Luckily it didn't get wet enough where we had to stop disking the fields. So later the next day, the fields got dry enough where we could start harvesting the Milo again. This Milo was yielding high, the only problem is it wasn't paying high. Due to us only being able to hire two hired hands, we will have to do this all with guidance steer. Guidance steer is what's creating the little green and white lines there. Guidance steer is just the what's more commonly known as GPS. So I had to help her Gus run another grain cart, so I had to go rob the sprayer tractor off so I can have my own. We better make sure we're using our flashers on the roads, otherwise these very serious police officers will play chicken with us. Oh, 
almost need another hand running grain cart the full time with how much is Milo's yielding. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but this combine is running on E. We better fill up at the end of the field. We'll go grab our Ford work truck here and go grab our new fuel trailer at the shop. We'll take the trailer back to our farm to fill it with diesel. Beautiful sunshine and morning to be harvesting some crops. This Milo's yielding so high I couldn't stop quick enough. Looks like the textures of the Milo in the bins are a little bit messed up. Even though we're not playing with crop destruction on currently, I'd like to pull to the side for realism. Love combining early in the morning with the sun a shining. This Milo field is sure taking a long time. Don't know if it'll pay for the effort we put into it with the low prices though. At least we're getting some good yield. Good thing we ended up purchasing two grain carts here. Looks like we may have a DOT police officer here checking the truck out. Which combine do you guys prefer, our Gleaner S98 or our John Deere S790?
I wonder how many truckloads we'll end up getting off of this field. One good thing with this cleaner, it has a fast unloading auger on it. We are slowly making a dent in this field here. Jump in our Kinsey 1051 again to unload the combine. We won't be able to hold another hopper load from the combine, so we'll take this over unloaded in the semi. We're losing a little bit of time having to run the combine and the semi. It looks like there's a police officer there driving a little crazy. Aren't they the ones about to be policing the crazy? We will take a break from the gleaner for a little while and jump over to our cotton picker. We'll clean up the spots that the hired help missed. Unload another chunk of white gold. These cotton harvesters sure left a mess here on the corners.
Now that we're done with this field, we'll get these cotton harvesters back to the farmyard. One good thing with these cotton harvesters, you never have to worry about getting a speeding ticket with them. We'll just unload the small bale right into the bale barn. Get these cotton harvesters cleaned up and put away. You know what they say, the slow and steady turtle wins the race. Is that what we're doing with these cotton harvesters? So I was getting impatient on getting to use our new planter, so I'll bring it over to the field so it can hurry up the combine. Before we get to planting this, first we need to fertilize it and plow this field. So before we finish off our second day on this tournament, Gus will help me transport our most recently purchased item. Thanks for watching and I will see you later at the tournament.